Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I talk about faith, fashion, and lifestyle. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit your photos. So whether you're planning a wedding on a budget, whether you're planning like a sisterhood photo shoot, your birthday photo shoot, whatever the occasion may be, I'm going to show you, or you're starting a business, right? And you're you're taking the pictures with your phone and you need it to be professionally um, edited, right? Listen, you may not have the money right now to pay some million dollar or some thousand million, thousand dollar or some hundreds of dollar photographer. So I'm going to show you guys the app that I use to edit all my photos. Okay, and help you to save money. Yes, sis, you can thank me later. All right, so the app that I use, I have an iPhone. So I'm not really sure if it's on Android, but it should be anyway. I believe it should be. Because I've been using this editor for a long time. Even when I had my Samsung phone, I've been using this editor. So anyhow, that is the app right there. That's what I use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my photo. I'm going to go through my phone and pick out one of my favorite photos. I'm going to show you the before and after. And I'm going to show you all the steps that I take to make sure that that picture comes out professionally. Again, this is not a thing of... Um, editing our bodies you know making your your th this this thing it, it can do whatever you want it to do but i want to advise that um it doesn't turn into a thing of like a self-esteem issue where you now start making your butt look bigger your boobs look bigger um you know start altering yourself into a whole different person that's not what this video is about absolutely not i i always talk about self-acceptance we all have our insecurities okay i have my insecurities as much as you have your insecurities so the purpose of this video is not for you to look like someone else or to look like the way society wants us to look big boobs small waist and big booty not all of us have that okay some of us just have it in in medium size it's not big it's just medium okay and we take it as it is <laughs> anyway without further ado let's get started All right, so what you do now is go click on your app, click on library. That's where you have all your photos. Pick out any photo that you like the best. And I pick this one. Mind you, I still have the free version, okay? So first things first that I'm going to do is go to whitening. So whitening is supposed to whiten your teeth, but it can whiten anything. So if your eyes are looking a little brown, a little red... Make sure you, um, you sh that's how you, you make the size smaller or bigger. You zoom into your photo, make the circle small, and then you start whitening your eyes. Okay, and in, in case you're taking a picture with a white background, but the wall is not as clean as you'd like it to be, you can also use this white in and white in the background. Whatever is white, you can make it whiter with whiten. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is click on smooth. Now with smooth, anything that's too harsh looking you can always go in and like give like an airbrush feel so yeah that baby is not looking right over there so <laughs> i'm gonna make it super soft and smooth and then the skin as well make your skin smooth so the texture is the same all around okay all right so so once we're done with that the next thing i'm gonna do is go to skin tone um, I want to look a bit more melanated. I feel like I look mm, a little too caramel. So you're going to find skin tones. And these are the different colors that you can you can get a self tan. So I'm just making myself a bit more, more chocolatey. All right. I like my melanin. I want it to be popping. Okay. So <laughs> once I'm done with that. So these are the different, different, different things. You can resize. Um. I'm going to go to brighten. So again, you adjust the size of the circle and you brighten your eyes. So it like literally wakens your eye. Your eye look like really sharp. Like it's just like glistening. Awesome. So that's really all I do for that photo. And we're done. So now I'm going to pick another photo to take it to another level. Okay. 
that was a more natural look so the next thing i'm gonna do is find another picture and i'm gonna show you guys how to use the white end and i use this whiting a lot when it comes to my eyes the background and my teeth okay this year 2022 we will not have cream teeth we come against every cream color teeth every brown or yellow teeth in the name of jesus i can't wait to go see my dentist so we can talk about bleaching my teeth anyhow so you go back to white end and then you zoom into your picture always remember to zoom into your picture you take the little circle you resize it so it can fit into your mouth if the circle is too big it can make your whole lip white okay so make it small enough and then go back and forth and whiten your teeth the more you keep going back and forth the whiter it gets i'm gonna whiten my eyeballs as well absolutely so you get this fresh clean look like somebody just hired me for a colgate commercial hello okay so that's what i do with this photo um but this photo is really pretty naturally that's why i love natural light i didn't really have to do much i'm gonna go back in and use the smooth so i can fix that baby hair over there that's just looking a little bit crusty and crunchy honey this is not crunchy cr mm -mm. no thank you so the next thing you're going to do is click on blur this now can help you to blur anything that's in your background that you don't want to see so that my ring light behind me i'm going to click on blur and then just blur all of that out and then even the clothes on my right hand side your left my right i'm gonna blur that out i like my um the painting in the back of the green leaf so we're gonna leave it there yep so this app is really just incredible it does everything it really does it really really does this is like next level of photographers should be using anyway anyhow so that's what i do for this photo but keep and then we're gonna melanate myself again see that it just makes a little bit more browner look how white my arms look bro i was trying to tan my arms but it wasn't working anyhow it's all good all right so once that is done i'm pretty much um i'm pretty much done with this photo i just want to um smooth again see i just want to soften my lips so i'm gonna go back and forth with the light with the smooth you see that there it goes because i have that pink like all right so now that you've seen how i edit my right, photos so you can definitely be able to implement this in your business right if you're starting like a t-shirt brand a accessory brand um i have an etsy store for those of you who do not know and the description is down below so I sell vintage clothing and I also started a Christian apparel line on my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in really cool graphic t-shirts, make sure you stop by in my description box on my Etsy store and make a purchase, if not for yourself, for a friend. So it's, most of my t-shirts are unisex, so a man and a woman can wear it. And other ones are specifically for women and others are specifically for men. Either way, go and check it out and support your girl. All right. So whether you're starting a small business, whether it's for your Instagram, your Facebook or for a wedding or whatever the occasion may be and you want to save money and make sure that your pictures are professional. This is an app that you can use once you're done. Once you're done, you can save it. You can take it to Walmart and print out your photos. I actually did that. I know that in our generation, most of us don't really have photo albums anymore, but I actually do because I'm pretty old school. So I'm going to show you guys my photo album after i was done editing my videos i went to walmart and i printed it and i printed my photos for like 20 cents honey and then i put it in my photo album. okay so this is my photo album for those of you who do not know i'm an excellent professional thrifter so i like thrift shopping i do so i actually got this book from this photo album from the thrift store and i bought it for like a dollar and some change honey yes we save money around here anyhow so these are some of my photos i definitely use that my photo editor for this one this is the time i went to miami it was pretty fun um this photo right here i definitely use that app for it and it looked like a photo shoot the background i took my ankara fabric and i put it there and then my faux plants which i got from the from the thrift store for seven dollars and this one i got like it was like a bouquet of flower from the thrift store again and i put it on my head just be creative and do your thing um, these are not edited. It's my me and my people. 
this one yes i use that app to edit this photo so it just looks like professional just exceptional look at that look at that honey <laughs> And my graduation picture. So the only thing I did for my graduation picture, I didn't really do much editing. This is just beauty. I mean, beauty. Oh, <laughs> be God. God. <laughs> Jesus, you love me. <laughs> he just made me so beautiful from the inside out. And I'm just, sometimes I get so overwhelmed. <sighs> excuse me um that's my graduation picture and i didn't really do any editing the only thing i did was white in my teeth honey i mean that thing white honey i'm in my teeth white okay we're not listen 2022 no brown teeth we've come against brown teeth we've come against cream teeth in the name of jesus i actually have a dental appointment and um what i'm trying to do is after the dentist is done cleaning my teeth we're gonna do some payment plan to get these teeth crystal white i want i want sparkling white teeth you know i do anyhow that brings this video to a close if you enjoy this video comment down below and let me know that it was helpful for you and if you ended up if you end up editing your photo whether it's for um a graduation a birthday party uh, a wedding anniversary whatever the occasion may be make sure you hit me up on my instagram and you tag me in it okay so i can share it on my story and yeah we can definitely connect over there okay Thank you once more for watching my video. As always, I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. And until next time, you have an arrival day. Bye, guys.